All right, everybody. Oh, I bumped the camera right off the bat. How the heck are we today? That's not the spinner that was in the thumbnail, is it? No, it's not. That spinner is in here. We just brought this guy in mainly for a size comparison. So let's open this big boy up. Big boy. Look at so look. Look how wide this is here. It's about the same size, right? No. Let's pull this out of here. Bam! Look at that. Look at the size difference there. So we got the mini Aventador today. Look at that. So basically, if you have an Aventador, it's basically the size from the points of that to here. But look at this. It's got some little trit slots in it. Uh, it's got some pretty small buttons uh, as well. And uh, they are uh, still an R188 bearing. Uh, but I got the mirrored version. And let's just take a let's just take a close look at that. So um, it's got a little bit of fingerprints. I apologize. I have been fidgeting with it. So I did just get this yesterday, um, but as I was off, I got it yesterday afternoon. and was basically able to fidget with it. This is kind of what I was fidgeting with all night. Um, both for two reasons. One, I wanted to be able to do a first look review on it, uh, but two, I really enjoyed spinning it. Um, so spoilers. I like this guy. I guess it's not really a spoiler, that's what you're here for, is my opinion. We're not going to save it all the way to the end, are we? Nah, let's just get right in there. So, um, I really like the finish on this guy. A couple things I really appreciate, and I don't exactly know how it's done, but I can appreciate that it was done, is that the faces inside, the basically the stealth logo on the arms, have this, like, you know, media-blasted satin kind of finish. And don't mind that, it's just got some, again, I've been playing with it, so I tried to wipe it down good, but, I, you know, once I get under the camera like this, I realize how good I didn't get it. Um, but it's got, yeah, so it's got these in here, so I don't know if that's masked off or how they do that while still polishing the rest of it, but because it's polished, um, all these little edges and corners, you can see, watch the light move around the edges, see how it's, it really kind of rounds around, there's not a lot of really sharp edges anywhere, despite being kind of a, quote unquote, quote unquote, aggressive style looking spinner with a lot of angles and things like that. So it's also got six trit slots, three on each side. So if you like to like to put the trits in there, um, trit it up, but enough of that trip. Yeah, really nice cutouts, really nice angles. These little arms, if you can call them that, um, really um, give a lot of places for your fingers to catch and to push off of. So we're good in that department. So let's go under the hood here. So these are tiny buttons. Let me see if I can find uh, some more standard style stealth buttons here. Actually, let's do this. Break out the toys. Yeah. Sixteen and a half millimeter, something like that. Sixteen millimeter, seventeen. So they're tiny. And then again, with a little dish, the part that you're actually grabbing is closer to was that 12, 13 millimeters? Something like that. So they feel pretty tiny buttons. The buttons feel tiny, so that's good. I don't know if that's good, but that's all right. We're okay with that. So, um, and then again, we got a standard R188. Now the steel, so it comes in a couple different versions. I guess we should talk about that. It comes in a polished stainless steel, uh, an electroplated brass, but the ones I've seen that are electroplated actually look like they're almost like a polished black, like gunmetal type version. They don't look like a full black. Let's wipe that down a little. Uh, so it's pretty, they're pretty interesting. So, but the brass and the steel ones come with, and you can see some of the machining marks in there, but they're nowhere near as obvious in person. Like, again, I'm under my super bright light. So, you know, this is more what you see. Right, really nice. So the surface isn't 100% smooth. You can see that reflection in there, um, but the polish on it is really smooth. So I'm not sure what they use to polish it up, but it's nice, so. Um, it doesn't feel like plated or anything like that, but I can't really say specifically how this is uh, how this is done. Um, anyway, so they they come in a couple of different versions. The stainless steel that I've got here, polished stainless steel, is I believe 35. The electroplated, what they call in the electroplated brass, is 33, and then they also make a aluminum version that are 20 that come in a couple of different colors. So the aluminum versions are super light at uh, 17 grams, according to the website. The electroplated brass is only one gram heavier than the stainless steel, which I find a little odd. So we got our camera in close today, boys and girls, though, because it's so tiny. So let's see. So I'm getting 40 grams. I think on their website it says 42, and then the brass says 43. So we're in that neighborhood, though, so we're all right. 
get that out of the way. So now we know what it's like. Um, but it's mini. Now, if you watched any of my, I don't know if I really talked about much in any of my videos or just on live streams. Let's look at some of that spin effect, some of the lighting play that it does. Uh, I've kind of talked about how I'm not a huge fan of, a huge fan of uh, like mini spinners and things like that. What happens if I move my light? Whoa, that's kind of trippy, eh? Quite trippy, eh? I don't know where that came from, apologize. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of mini spinners, but there's something about this one, man, that I like. So, um, I, it, you know, I'm sure part of it's the polish. I like the feeling of having polished stuff on my fingers, um, but it feels like it spins pretty nice. So I'm not sure what the deal is with this particular bearing because it makes a little bit of a rattle up and down, and I haven't tried with a bunch of different bearings in this. Um, but when I did a vertical spin on this guy, and again, this is a mini spinner, so we're not expecting a ton of spin time. Uh, but when I did a vertical spin on this guy, I got just over four minutes, four minutes and 10 seconds. So pretty respectable, right? Uh, I did a table spin. Guess what I got on a table spin? Uh, I think my best one was four minutes and 40 seconds out of a little, look at this thing. I mean, this thing makes it look, <laughs> it makes this thing look small. Look at this. That's the mini bar. Now you like that patina, yo? Right? So look at this. Right, look it up against the full size Aventador, right? Like all of a sudden this thing's a giant. Um, so this is tiny, this is a tiny little spinner. Yet we're still getting four minutes out of it. Um, so that's pretty, pretty rock solid. So uh, four minutes again in 40 seconds, almost broke five minutes. I was like, man, this thing is going and going and going. And again, for the vertical spins, I don't know if it just doesn't have the weight to really push it around at what point different weights start doing what on the spin. But um, yeah, consistently I got on both sides of the bearing. So I've seen not consistent results, but someone was chatting me the other day, and some bearings that have this one-sided cage, so you can see like the balls are pretty exposed on this side, <laughs> um, but you've got kind of the cage holding them on this side. So sometimes when it's not like a, the same cage on both sides, I've found slight differences in spin time on both sides, um, but I got 440 on one of them at the most, and then 430 on the other at the most. So that's close enough for me to say they're pretty much the same, so. But you're not really in this for spin time. You don't get this for spin time, but it just has a pretty respectable spin time. When I'm spinning it horizontal, you just get like that bearing noise. But when it's vertical, I get this little rattle. So that could be an issue with the bearing. I'm not 100% sure. But so yeah, fidgeting with this guy, super, super good. So because it's little and it's tiny, it doesn't take anything to get the mass going on this guy. So it doesn't matter where I stop it. You've got all these little cutouts along the arms um, little grooves everywhere. So it doesn't matter where you stop it, your finger is going to get some grip. So I can pull, doesn't matter where I stop it. So I can reinitiate the spin real, real easy. I can flick the spin real, real easy. Um, it's just, it's that's what you get with a mini mini spinner, right? Super fidgetable, doesn't matter where you grab it, or it shouldn't matter. And in this case, it doesn't. And these buttons are good, again, but for me, I use more of a pinch grip. A little bit of discussion is kind of going around, I think, mainly because of the arachnophobia. Um, you know, because those buttons are pretty deep. So if you do like a flat grip with like the pad of your finger, you can still spin this. I got clearance there. But that's not my preferred style. I like to grab it like this. And I really appreciate the buttons of this size for that reason. So, you know, if you look at something like a Biton, right, it's got a similar looking button, right? All things considered, it's, you know, this has a bevel on the outside. This is straight up and down. But other than that, the inside of the button is virtually the identical. But this is so much larger that my fingers have so much room to slide around. I don't have a lot of room to slide around. My fingers just kind of nestle right in there and hit the ridges. Plus, it doesn't have a lot of weight, so that helps. So there's not as much weight and mass kind of trying to pull the spinner out. But I really appreciate flicking this guy as opposed to pulling it. So I like to do the 1-2-F uh, the as opposed to the 1-2-P. Um, or the 1.3F as opposed to 1.3. Uh, but if I am going to pull it, I don't know what it is about the size and the mass, but it's more comfortable pulling with the um, ring finger. I think part of that is because I'm not reaching out as far. Um, because of the distance between the two, my ring finger can kind of, I can't really show this, but my ring finger can has more room to kind of kick over inside where this one kind of has to clear this finger, where this one doesn't have to worry about it. So I can get more of an acute angle and flick that way as opposed to this one right maybe you can see that there um so maybe that's because of it's a little spinner the one three p uh, and the one three f work a little better so if you don't know what i'm talking about one three one two p f what have you um go watch my last video uh my last uh, i think i called it dinner walk or dinner talk because it was later at night than my lunch talks so and i kind of was talking about what i thought might be a fun naming convention to try to talk about the different ways to fidget so the old uh three four p awkward fidget hey look i'm doing an awkward fidget and i'm not doing it with a tungsten tri fidget my fingers set on the table, so. Let's see if we got these two fingers up here, yo. 
All right, so we're going on 10 minutes. I don't think we need to say anything more about this guy, except you need to get yourselves one. Like if you like mini fidgets, mini, mini spinners, um, I've tried a handful of mini spinners. I haven't tried them all. I've tried the mini coupler. Um, I've tried one of these guys. Oops, thanks heck for this, by the way. Um, little tiny little gear, um, you know, the, the 608 uh, R188 adapters, um, that little mini tank, that little mini Wonder Bar, Zen Duo, whatever you want to call it. Um, tried a lot of little mini spinners at this point and don't really like them except for this one. This is the one exception for me. So, And if I like it, that means chances are you're going to like it. And if you really like mini fidget spinners, little micro spinners, you're probably going to really like this. Now, I haven't tried the X or the Y from uh, Spinetic, but uh, something about this guy, I saw this and I really wanted to get on the pre-order. And... Um, I did and they just shipped and they just arrived and they're sweet so i'm just going on and on at this point so but final verdicts are get yourselves one of these guys if you like micro spinners if you don't think you like micro spinners but kind of like the idea of a micro spinner just haven't found one you like you might like this so he's only made one batch and there's not a ton of them they're still up um but i don't think there'll be any more once what he has sells out until september depending on how well these go so i would definitely uh head on over there um there's a ton of discount codes i think you can get for that so um, in terms of getting like 10, 15, 20% off. So um, if you're not sure, go ahead and um, chat me. Um, I think one that he's using right now, but I forget what it's for now. Sorry, Max. Uh, but he's using one called Tiny Tim. And that might have been some shipping on bearings or something for the little mini tanks. I'm not sure. So, uh, But you can definitely get some, sh um, some save some money on some uh, spinners. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to chat me or PM me if you're not sure or not finding any. So, um, But uh, yeah. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, the micro spinner. Right. Take it easy, y'all. Kisses.